This is what it should look like when you're done. Use a piece of string to measure your hand. This first mark shows where you will be cutting the metal. Draw lines on the metal to match the purple lines on the drawing. All these measurements are based on the size of your hand. Draw a line across the center of the piece of metal. Then put a mark on each side of it one finger width away. Next, use a cutoff wheel on a table saw. Adjust the height of the blade until it will cut halfway through the metal. Then cut through the three center marks. There may be thin splinters of metal sticking off from the cut. You can remove these with the cutoff wheel. Then cool the metal with water. Use bolt cutters to remove the part of the metal you don't need. I did this part out of order, but you should now cut off the corners of the metal. I did this step way out of order, but you need to drill a hole in each end of the piece of metal for a strap or a string to go through to hold the claw to your hand. Then bend the metal to fit around your hand. You can use a sledgehammer, C-clamp, bench clamp, brute force, anvil, vice grip pliers, and anything else you can think of to try to bend the metal into shape. This part can be very difficult. Try to bend along the lines you made earlier. Next, you're going to sketch out the claws. Make each claw half an inch long. Leave an open area next to each claw that is twice the width of the metal, in this case, a quarter inch. Lower the circular saw blade slightly. This is to make sure you don't cut too much off. Now cut a slit in the metal and see if the blade is at the right height. You may have to raise the blade several times before it fits perfectly. Once one blade has the right size slit, you can just cut the other two without adjusting the blade. Now cut out each claw with bolt cutters. If you're using a hacksaw instead of bolt cutters, leave extra room when you're sketching out the claws on the metal. Remember, if you do use bolt cutters, the claw might go flying off when you finish the cut. Next, use a bench grinder and not a cutoff wheel for safety reasons to form the claws into the exact shape you want and to sharpen them. Then use super glue to attach the claws to the handle. Make sure they all fit before you glue them. Now cut out some pieces of metal to fill in the spaces between the backs of the claws. This will prevent them from digging into your hand. Use a grinding wheel to shrink them to the exact size you need. Then glue the pieces in place. You may want to glue something to the back of the claw to stop it from digging into your hand. I used leather. You may want to cut some styrofoam to use as a sheath. I tied the string on with a bowline and a timber hitch knot. Now you have a finished climbing claw, just please don't use it as a weapon.